Dana told me he would need me to fight again at the end of February. I told him what any bitch he wants in February. Rousey versus McMahon. That's the headliner. She goes right back into camp. I'm in the best shape of my life now, so I think it'd be perfect time to just go back to back. We're both undefeated Olympic medalists, and that's never happened for UFC championship. Never in the history of mixed martial arts have two Olympic medalists squared off inside the octagon. It's going to be an exciting fight. You can't not have an exciting fight. UFC 168, Ronda was far more well-rounded than we see in the past. Her striking game has improved dramatically. I know that a lot of girls have this idea that if they get me out of the first round, I'm going to break. And I just wanted to look better and better and better with every round, because that's how I fight. My first round's actually my worst one. I also wanted to prove that I could go multiple rounds and that I could fight standing. She tried to do a lot more things that she hadn't done before in the striking aspect. She used her natural instincts that helped her get as far as she did in judo very well. She's still the best female fighter in the world. She proved it that night. Oh, my goodness. I can't Ronda with that judo. The judo techniques that we saw in the fight with Misha Tate were on a level that we haven't seen in years in the UFC. Ronda's judo is one of the deadliest weapons in all of mixed martial arts. She can also work off her back with triangles and things of that nature. Her all-around game is just sick. She could strike, she could grapple, she could wrestle, she could use her judo. She's ready to do everything. If anybody is going to counteract Ronda's judo, it's going to be Sarah and her wrestling. Sarah McMahon comes in a stormy. Judo versus wrestling has long been an interesting stylistic matchup in mixed martial arts. Everything that I've been training to do has helped me naturally do the things that make it difficult for her to get her offense going. The UFC chose Sarah to fight Ronda because they know that she has the tools to beat Ronda. Wrestling is kind of the kryptonite for a lot of things. It seems to be a very tough matchup when you go against a wrestler. Sarah McMahon inside control. Sarah McMahon is a former Olympic silver medalist, one of the best female wrestlers America has ever seen. Sarah McMahon is definitely the most accomplished wrestler in women's MMA. Sarah is very strong, and I think her wrestling would overcome Ronda's judo. It took her all of five seconds to go out there, shoot on Sheila Gaff and put her on her butt, and finish her within the first round. We've been working on Obviously, the arm bar defenses. What are all the things that somebody needs to do a tight, proper arm bar in the ways that she likes to set them up? And then you stop them at every single point along the way. Throw defense and controlling the ties is something that I've done for 17 years. So that one is a lot easier. There's no way that Ronda Rousey goes in there and throws Sarah McMahon around like she has everybody else. Sarah McMahon might be the one to unseat Ronda Rousey. Oh! Looking to finish it right here. And it's all over. In every fight, people say that this person's going to be the one. I'm just going to keep disappointing them. The excitement of two people coming together that are undefeated is that both fully expect to win. That type of fight is going to be close, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to come down to who wants it more. This is an incredible fight. I'm going to come in there, guns blazing with everything that I have, and that literally I will never, ever stop until I get what I want. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm still going to beat her.